Look at this tiny whisk. I guess it's a normal whisk, but then they have mega whisk. <laughs> Our kitchens are full of so many tools that just have one purpose, or do they? Let's use common kitchen tools in different ways. <gasps> I think I need this. A little spoon with a cat on it. So much stuff here has cats on it. What is that? Mickey Mouse stamp for food? Bamboo straw, paper straw. Get out of here, paper straw. I love a sustainable solution. You are not the one, paper straw. I'm in the mood for a fiesta, so today it's guacamole. Not a single one of them nearly ripe. Brown paper bag trick it is, because these are all like rocks. I keep forgetting to bring in my produce bags and I feel so bad every time. Next time, I promise I will remember my produce bags. Sometimes they have the ugly produce section and it's cheaper and it's still good stuff. Back to squeezing lemons. These cotton candy grapes, so good, so good. Man, they don't have cherries. They said later on this week. I need them now. Strawberries, oh. I always get the moldy strawberries, so I've learned my lesson. Check the package. These look good. Some beautiful, tasty mushrooms. Love the mushrooms. All right, grocery haul complete. On to the fun stuff. You can find a bunch of specialty tools for slicing and dicing avocados, but if you have a wire rack, you can use that. With the skin on, we'll just press it through. Oh, that is actually really fun. What I found helps here is to slide it through. That's pretty cool. So easy. Ta-da! Avocado fingers. Get through there. Hanging on for dear life, come on. For a big party batch, this really helps. Cleanup's really easy. You can quickly rinse it off or I even throw mine in the dishwasher. Perfectly diced and no knife skills required. The Bed Bath & Beyond store is closing. I guess I'm not coming enough to keep them in business. I'm why they're closing. I hope they have good stuff left. I love this place. I used to come here all the time. In my kitchen, I tend to stay away from tools that just have one purpose, like a citrus juicer. I need this. So if life gives you lemons, you can reach for tongs instead. These are like the good brands that I like. And they're giving you a discount. Oh yeah. Tears aside for this store closing, we're talking about kitchen utensils today. So I'm here to score some big deals since they're closing out the store and find some unique kitchen items. You can achieve the same juicing action just by squeezing with a pair of tongs. For extra leverage, place that citrus near the middle and a firm squeeze. Ooh, juicy. I love the smell of lemons. And when it comes to lemons, I like to squeeze them right side up to avoid those seeds. Perfect. None of those seeds are dropping in. For the juice, it just takes a good set of tong to tong tong tongs. I'm just having trouble processing this that the store is gonna be closed. I used to come here all the time. So this was like my bed, bath and beyond. And this is the first store we've logged at for problem solved. Just gonna cry myself all the way to these savings. 20% off? Heck yeah. I'm here for kitchen utensils and they are almost wiped out. There's like nothing left here since they're closing the store. But this lady came up to me and she gave me a hot tip. She's like, come back in a couple weeks and they'll keep marking stuff down. Right now it's like 10, 15, 20% off stuff. In a couple weeks, they're probably gonna be basically giving it away like 50, 75. So if you have a store closing in your area, check back every few weeks see what they have and they'll keep lowering the price. A slicing wheel usually just sits in the drawer unless it's pizza night. We can change that. Your slicer can be a great go-to for herbs. I'm working with cilantro, but this works great on parsley, basil, just about anything. Watch those fingers. With a back and forth motion, you can make quick work of those herbs. The Ninja Turtles would be proud. Now that you have a new purpose, maybe you'll see the light of day more often. I wanted little tongs. My aunt has these little tongs that she uses for like charcuterie boards and just like, just anything where you don't want to use a big set of tongs. They're like little four inch tongs. I want to find some. There's always one thing we're looking for when we go out shopping and we can never find it. So today it'll be tiny tongs. Will we succeed? Will we find them? Most of the times you're mashing guacamole with a fork, but if you're dealing with a big batch, reach for that potato masher. This is gonna be spicy. Hot, hot, hot. I like it a little chunky, so really don't have to do much. Oh, so therapeutic. That took like five seconds. S and P to your liking. Grind, baby, grind. Looks like we got some new kitchen MVPs. I feel like only in Arizona, tacos and sushi. It's a taco and sushi place, so I had to get both. 
This is one of the fusion rolls. I don't even know what's on this. <laughs> he just brought it over and said, try it. Wow. It's really good. I eat sushi every day. Especially at a place like this that has tacos too. I mean, I love tacos. I love sushi. My rule for any kitchen tool is it's gotta be used for more than just one thing. Here's some alternate uses for an egg slicer. Egg slicer. See, I'm not the biggest fan of one use kitchen items, but if you can find multiple uses for something, then it's definitely worth it. Grilling skewers. Do I need them? No. I've always wanted one of these. Works for all 12 out slim cans. Mm. I want the, the versatile one that does both the slim cans and regular cans. Who's got space in their kitchen for a one trick pony? Even if you're not an egg fan, this slicer can be used for other food items. Works great for slicing mushrooms. Easy peasy. After you get your slice, you can rotate your mushroom to get more of a dice or julienne. But little matchsticks of your mushrooms. Any food that's soft enough and small, like a strawberry, works too. This makes me want strawberry shortcake real bad. There are two other things we found that this thing can slice. You can stay. If you've never been to one, I recommend just going into a restaurant supply store. Although they're made for the restaurant industry, there's a lot of cool things you can find that you can use right at home in your own kitchen, especially if you entertain at home or have a big family, like I grew up with a big family. A restaurant supply store has a bunch of cool stuff. After I got my knife sharpened, I want a cool cutting board. This one's so nice. What I love about these kind of stores is since a lot of the stuff isn't name brand, it's kind of like generic, it's gonna be super affordable. So you can find the same kitchen tools and supplies, but for cheaper prices. If you have a pizza restaurant, here's the section for you. Oh, if you have an ice cream parlor, here's the section for you. Look at all these cookie scoops. Being here is really a reminder to come here more often when I need kitchen stuff. Usually I just go to the, you know, the regular stores, but there's just so many options and variety here. And it's all pretty affordable. Two bucks. I just picked this up. And even though I got it on sale, it's only four bucks here. Yep, I think I've got to get this. I haven't had a bloomin' onion in forever. This place is so overwhelming. There's so many cool things that I want. We got this whisk and we've only covered entrance of the store. This place is as big as Costco. Tongs of all shapes and sizes. <gasps> have them. Tiny tongs. Tiny tongs. I'm so glad I came here now. Three bucks for tiny tongs? Yes, please. Oh, I kind of like these, just the silver ones. Just nice little silver neutral ones. Okay, okay. I thought this would be the hunt of a lifetime, and here they are. We've done a video on easily shucking corn using your microwave, but today we're gonna get the kernels off the cob. Here's a kitchen item that can help you with your corn. I came to a little Japanese import store because they have the coolest kitchen stuff, all imported from Japan. And they have just so many unique things you can find at a Japanese store versus like the normal American stores. They've got the tiny tongs. I thought tiny tongs would be so hard to find, but here they are, more tiny tongs. Look at these. I like these grilling tweezers, mini barbecue tongs. These are kind of cool. More precision. Sometimes those big tongs are hard to like manipulate stuff in your skillet or pan. These are little guys. You could just like quickly boop, 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 boop. I ran into one of my fans. <laughs> ah, 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 that's so bad. Oh, a corn peeler. I've never seen like a specific corn peeler before. I think I might have to try this out. I have a technique for peeling corn or, you know, getting corn off the cob, but I want to try this to see if this works. A corn fork! This stuff is so cool. You've got so many like unique items here. So awesome. I'm not baking bunts every day, but this pan can help you with your corn game. A bunt pan is gonna be the perfect vessel here. Place the cob in the center and you'll need a good sharp knife. Just be careful when you reach the end to avoid damaging the pan. Well, this doesn't shuck. I also try to leave a little bit of the stem intact for stability. This is really easy. It's got me feeling like a freak on a leash. This is the perfect pan to keep those kernels from falling away from me. If you don't have a bunt pan, you can achieve the same thing with two bowls, a smaller one and a larger one. These can be any two types of bowls. You can even do this with a bowl upside down in a baking dish. And we're catching kernels, not feelings. Now this makes me wanna make cornbread in my bunt pan. It's no wonder this place is called cute because everything in here is really cute. A store like this is so worth exploring. There's so many cool little things. 
getting off track a little bit, a little distracted. So back to the kitchen stuff. I think this is for tofu, maybe? Oh, it drains your tofu. It's got a little strainer on it. That's cool. Little sauce and condiment containers. It's bound to happen at some point today. <clears throat> Good thing it was plastic this time. Oh, with all this glass right here. Okay, I'm gonna stay far away from that. Tongs are that classic kitchen tool that you use for just about everything. But I've also adopted a new technique. Here's how you can use cooking chopsticks. This is what I was really looking for. I've been working on my culinary skills and I've been wanting to use cooking chopsticks. So they're a little bit longer than normal chopsticks and they're made for cooking. Should I get cats or these cute little dogs? So many different designs on these chopsticks. I like these training chopsticks. The instructions are not in English. Might need to use my Google Translate. I just wanna try these training chopsticks for fun. I know how to use chopsticks, but just for fun. A long pair of chopsticks or cooking chopsticks can actually be a versatile kitchen tool. You use them the same way you use regular tongs, and when you get good at it, it can actually give you more precision. You can use them for preparing foods instead of a fork, use them to beat eggs. Whip it and whip it good. I love learning new techniques and using new tools in the kitchen. These are wooden and safe to use on any cookware. You may think this is a lot of butter. Yes, because I don't want these eggs to stick. Ooh, nice, buttery, fluffy eggs. And they can be a great, helpful tool for sauteing and pan frying. Olive oil. These are also a great tool if you're working with pasta. These can really work like a pair of tweezers when you're looking for precision making your recipe. These really are so great to use. I've really been enjoying it. Now that's what I call precision in the kitchen. All right, I discovered that they had something. They just told me about it. They've got snacks and drinks. Look at all these Dragon Ball Z drinks. They've got Sailor Moon drinks, Digimon drinks. Oh, which one should I pick? Should I go for the Goku? The Super Saiyan? The Mahjong Buu? Oh, I think I'm gonna go Mahjong Buu because I love peach and Mahjong Buu's peach flavor. Definitely found everything we need. That place was too cute. 